Travis Scott's Astroworld Festival ended up killing at least eight people. However, the show never stopped. Quite to the contrary, it was a crescendo of dark imagery which was described by some as knocking on the gates of hell. Here's a look at the insanity that was Astroworld 2021. Reports emerging from the Astroworld Festival, which took place in Houston on November 5th, are horrifying. Travis Scott's concert, described as dark and hellish by people present, was the site of at least eight deaths and countless injuries. Throughout the entire time, and despite pleas from the public, the show never stopped. As Travis performed in front of a background that was described by some as the gates of hell, lifeless bodies were being carried away by security. Soon after the concert, social media was flooded with accounts by concertors who felt a dark energy throughout the event, which prompted many to declare that the entire thing was a satanic ritual sacrifice. These suspicions were only amplified when reports emerged that several people in the crowd, and at least one security guard, were pricked by a needle. Not only did these people get injected with an unknown drug, but these assaults prompted panic in the crowd which led to people fainting and getting trampled. Here's a look at the insanity that was Astroworld 2021. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. A couple of days before the Astroworld Festival 2021, Scott releases the song Escape Plan. This is the top comment on YouTube. Indeed, those who died at Astroworld literally could not escape it. This is the art that accompanied this song. Spoofing the Weekly World of News' infamous Batboy cover, Scott's art contains the eerie words, the true dystopia is here and, when the end arrives it's really the beginning. The promotion surrounding the Astroworld Festival is all about death and portals. People are being sucked into another universe under the watchful eye of the occult elite. Sadly, this is exactly what happened at the actual festival. This image promoting the event is similarly eerie. The eyes of the elite watching over this epicenter of dark vibrational energy that was the Astroworld Festival. As you'll see, there was really dark vibrational energy going on at that festival. The Astroworld Festival took place on November 5th, which is a few days after Samhain, the ancient festival of death and sacrifice. The week around November 1st is known to be the time of the year when the veil between this world and the underworld is the thinnest. In occult circles, Samhain is still observed, and it is celebrated with animal and human sacrifice. This is a screenshot from the Satanic Cult Awareness document found on the Office of Justice Program's website. It describes the occult activities happening around Samhain. In this article about Samhain, a druid states. Samhain is a time when the doorway to the other world is open, and we can commune with the dead, a time of divination. Appropriately enough, everything about Astroworld is all about a doorway to another world. The show began with a fiery, hellish mountain, inside which a giant eyeball gazes at the public. Throughout the show, that hole in the mountain turns into a spirally portal. Inside that portal, was sometimes written, see ya on the other side. Eerie. Travis Scott was wearing a shirt depicting a person entering a portal and emerging transformed. It did not take long before the show turned into chaos as crowd movement caused people to faint and get trampled. This photo shows a police vehicle transporting a dead or injured person attempts to leave the venue. Although fainting is not uncommon during these events, Astroworld turned into carnage. As more people got hurt, people requested for the show to stop, but it never did. 
In this disturbing video, people attempt to get the attention of festival staff, yelling stop the show because someone is dying. To no avail. Amidst this mayhem, people in the crowd got injected with an unknown substance using a needle, including a security guard who got pricked in the neck. The Houston PD's chief, Troy Finner, just confirmed what we've been told, namely, that at least one person had been injected with something via needle, and there well may have been more. T. Finner said a security guard working the event felt a prick in his neck by an unknown assailant while he was trying to restrain a citizen, and he quickly fell unconscious. Finner says the guard was revived by use of Narcan, and that medical personnel did, indeed, see something on his neck that indicated he'd been stabbed with a syringe. Finner also said some people had been trampled, so it appears there was a mix of reasons why people were injured or passing out, and perhaps why some died. The total number of people who have passed away remains at eight, and autopsies are underway to determine the causes of death for each. What many will be looking for here is, whether there's any evidence to suggest the eight people who have died thus far might have been triggered into cardiac arrest via outside influence or a third party, namely, a would-be culprit who was allegedly going around and injecting folks with a syringe. At one point, people were actually chanting stop the show. But the show never stopped. In fact, it was a crescendo of hellish occult elite imagery. At one point, the mountain was filled with creepy eyes watching over, as people were literally dying. Towards the end of the show, giant hands appeared over the portal. That's not right. Lots of Travis Scott fans left the show traumatized and utterly convinced that they've witnessed something demonic. Beers is an account from a fan who attended the show and witnessed several unconscious or dead people. He also mentions the fact that people VIP section, which contained celebrities and people who paid thousands of dollars for a ticket, were witnessing the mayhem in complete safety and did not want to see injured people in their section. That's some Squid Game VIP type stuff. Everything surrounding Astroworld 2021 was dark, eerie, and the foreboding was just disturbing to the core. Accounts from people who experienced the show life mention weird vibrations that could be heard throughout. Throughout the show, a loud unsettling synth kept playing over Scott's songs, which gave a chilling horror movie quality to the performance. In short, the fact that the last moments of at least eight people took place in this nightmarish setting, in front of a literal portal to hell, is a thought that is difficult to fathom. However, this is exactly the type of energy sick occult-minded individuals seek to generate and harness through mega-rituals. Was this show purposely manufactured to turn into a human sacrifice event during the Samhain week? Difficult to say. However, one thing is for sure. When everything is done to make an event as dark and demonic as possible, dark and demonic things happen. Don't get sucked into that portal. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.